Okay, doctor, so this is our elements observation unit, and it consists of a heat plugger and an automatic backfill. And our heat plugger gets hot instantly when you hit the button. So the first thing you want to do is trial fit our heat plugger in the canal, and you want to make sure it binds five to seven millimeters from the apex. And that one does. We take our gutta percha point, typically the one that uh, matches up with the last file we used in our sequence. We would apply sealer to it, but you need to have good tug back, which we have. So the first thing you want to do is take and sear off the top of the point. And now we take our heat plugger, put it on top of the gutta percha, activate it, and drive it down until we meet up with our stopper, and we let it sit there for 10 seconds. So what we've just done is we've melted our gutta percha point, we've sealed our apex, and we've flowed the sealer and melted gutta percha into our lateral canals and dental tubules. So we've created an apical stop. After 10 seconds, we need to remove the plugger, so we do a heat burst because now it's all glued together. So one Mississippi, twist and remove, and you can see in the block that our apex is sealed. And I'll take a hand plugger, and just tamp it down so I can feel that our apex is sealed. So at this point, if you want to put a post in, you take your post drill, drill it, cement it in place, you're ready to go. If you're not going to use a post, you take your backfill and what's, gently, what size does that tip this comes in uh, 25, 23, and 20 gauge. And 23 is our most popular size. So we insert this down the canal as far as we can. And for the demo, I like to turn it upside down and put just a little pressure on here. So we push the button and it starts backfilling. You can see how the canal is it's filling. Color too. Well, for demonstration purposes, I'm using a different color so you can see the backfill compared with the apical plug. Good, good. Then once you do that, you take your plugger and you tamp it down. And now you can do your, your build up from there. It's good. And now if you need to go back in and retreat or if you take your x-ray and you see that you have a void, which can happen sometimes on occasion, you take your heat plugger, activate it, and drive it down and back out again. That will take care of the void. You reinsert your needle and you let it push you back out of the canal again. So it's a positive feedback as it backfills. Then you tamp it down and you're good to go.